Hey there, greetings to you. I am V. Welcome back to my channel for another pick card reading on mystery messages. I love doing this every day because you never know what random messages want to come through for you. So if you're new, please subscribe. If not, thank you for returning. In these little keychains, we have messages. So this is how it works if you're new. We look at these we look at these objects and we intuitively decide on which pile we think holds our message. So take some time, pause the video, don't rush. Collect your thoughts and push them out and intuitively see which one you feel is calling you in the most. Pile one, pile two, pile three. Timestamps are below, so if, let's say you choose pile two, ch click on the timestamp below to take you straight to your message. You can skip ahead. You don't have to watch the full video, but if you feel inclined to, then please do. Everything is waiting for you down below, okay, friends? So I'm going to go on with pound number one, but take some more time if you need to. Thank you for being here. So what do you need to know at this time? What do you need to know? I'm using the numerology oracle. You have a healing coming through. I like that energy. Nice starts to your reading. Welcome. Welcome to the healing energy. Yes. Okay. So what you need to know, something is progressing. You're, you're closing out a wound. Your, your wound is closing. Your wound, no, your wound is healing. This progression here, this progression. So what have you been waiting for? What have you been waiting for? Um, to improve that is coming to a close is closing a cycle things are coming things are finally turning its head the wheels turning the wheels turning finally you're seeing your results finally finally and these numbers look them up 66 see what other messages other messages you can get to, from, from this uh, these two sixes all right so what can you look forward to what can you look forward to my friends Change. Oh, because of this healing, it's inducing a change. Yeah, I like this. So what this is telling me is that whatever wasn't working out, you, you, uh, you know, did what you had to do. You closed it out. You stitched it up. You uh, put peroxide on it. You cleansed it out, cleansed it out. You feng shui it out of your life. <laughs> and now, look, a change is happening because... You did damage control. You repaired yourself. Beautiful. You took action. Change. Yes, change is inevitable. And yeah, you did what you had to do and now you're healing. Your wounds are healing. Good job. What good news is coming? What good news is coming? What good news is coming? Okay, so you learned from this experience. You have, you have grown because of this experience. You are taking something from this experience and you may pass it on to others. You may, you learned enough so that when it happens again, you'll be able to pick up on those signs. You'll be able to avoid it. So this, it could have been that a tower moment occurred and now you're, you're, you're picking yourself up from the ground and you're walking, you're, you're going on by, you're saying, you know what, I'm t picking up my dignity Picking up my resources, picking up my pride, my you know respect for myself, my 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 my, uh, my intelligence, my my intuition, and we're we're go we're bouncing, we're fleeing the scene, we're going with the winds. So that's it, gone with the wind. And look, you learned from this experience, so that's the blessing in disguise. Is that you learned, you had to go through this for a reason, whatever reason that was. There's something at the end of the rainbow waiting for you. You're gonna know what that reason is. Oh my gosh, you got to check out the Dragonfly movie with Kevin Costner. Check that video out, please, that movie. From like the early 2000s. Um, he had to go through a whirlwind of a ride. He had to go through this crazy, crazy trek. Oh my gosh, it was incredible what he went through, what hoops he had to jump through. And at the end, he saw what was waiting for him at the end of the rainbow. Now what took him there was wanting to find his wife. He couldn't find her. He had to go to another country. He looked everywhere. He went through a whole bunch of stuff and back. 
trials and tri tribulations, bumps and, and lumps on the road. Just think of potholes and type of potholes and, and having to uh, answer to people and, and, and question people. Oh my gosh, it was just, it was, it was physically exhausting, it was mentally exhausting, it was emotionally exhausting. Wa even watching a movie and I you know like when you see a movie you feel those waves of emotions oh my goodness that that will take you over and um, over or take you over a roller coaster of a ride okay if you were to watch that movie but at the end he knew that there was a reason why he had to go through that but he had to do some healing through this process and then things started changing for him as he healed as he got his answers as he went through his journey he learned and at the end you'll see what he finds so um my goodness that was a crazy crazy movie so uh, you know <sighs> getting emotional just think about it okay so what good news is coming for you after all this craziness is said and done what good news is coming for you spiritual career look teaching learning so look at that you're stepping more into your spirituality you're stepping more into your power stepping more into your wisdom you're leveling up and now you're going to be able to take what you learned and pass it on. And this can be you becoming a mentor of some sort, a counselor, an advisor, a preacher, a reverend, uh, a tarot reader, or whatever, whatever. You raising awareness on a subject that you care deeply about. This is you going through this craziness to get you here. To get you here. To get you here. So let's see, I'm going to um, pull another, look, karmic completion, look at that, look at that, 10. See? To get you here. See what I'm saying? All right, so you got two fives, two sevens, and then you got the 10 here. So let's see what your advice is today. What is your advice? Let me see my fortune cookie oracle, created by myself and my husband. And it has 3D graphics that my husband created on his 3D program and photographs with wonderful messages to help us to guide us so it's like having a conversation with our ancient our ancient um ancestors uh and ourselves our higher selves okay so let me bring you in this is saying look at that knowledge is power isn't that what we were just talking about look spiritual career teaching and learning you see you had to go through some crazy roller coasters crazy tornadoes to get to to the, your completion to get to where you need to be and now you have attained a lot of knowledge golden nuggets and now you can learn some more teach learn teach learn teach keep on learning keep on teaching keep on learning rinse repeat my goodness look at that so that's what i have for you thank you for watching you look hard work will pay off see no joke hard work will pay off you have done the work though but it's saying if you haven't seen your results yet keep on working you'll see your results very soon this is my fortune cookie oracle for sale on Etsy if you're interested and everything else that I use is down below as well. Personal readings there too. Take care and thank you for choosing me for your reading. Okay, let's get into our message. Thank you for choosing this pile. Thank you for choosing this pile. What do you need to know at this time? What do you need to know at this time? Collective energy. And this is timeless and not a prediction. This is just on the general... What we're getting here, that energy that's playing out. And if you want something more personal, please do check out my Etsy shop for personal readings. What do you need to know at this time? We have, oh, the wild card. Oh, this is the full, a new beginning of some sort. Okay. It's been like you just, you just came into the earth and you're like, okay, you're ready to play. You're ready to discover. You're ready to take a leap of faith. Yes, yes, yes. You're ready to go. Take action. Okay, what can you look forward to down your path, you fool? What can you look forward to, friends? Five of Cups. Hmm. Because of your little, your, your beginning, your start, your new fresh outlook, your spontaneity, you might be leaving some things behind. And that's okay. You can't bring everything or everyone with you. So as long as you know that, you know that it's okay that you know, while you're on this path, there might be something that you have to leave behind or some things. And, but the, the advice here is not to, look, you have the eight, eight of pentacles here. Wow. The advice is to not 
um, stay stuck in that energy of you having to move on and leave something behind or someone. The advice is to keep on working, keep on honing your craft, keep on applying your efforts, keep on leveling up. I know, I know it's hard. It's like, man, I want, I want to bring them with me. I want to bring this with me. Um, I want to have my cake and eat it too. But sometimes we have to like give away. Something has to give. In other words, something's got to give. Something has to fall away. Something has to be left behind. So, but keep on, you know, stay focused. You have eight of pentacles right in front of you. So don't go back to the five of pentacles. Go to keep on reaching towards nine of pentacles. Look, after eight comes nine, you see? Come on, after eight comes nine. Nine, 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 keep going. After ten, the 10 comes the page, then the ninth, and the queen, and the king, and then you're solid. So you just, you still got more work to do, okay, friend? But don't get stuck in woulda, coulda, shoulda, crying over what was lost, what you can't bring along. Don't worry about that. You still have a whole life ahead of you, a whole plan, a whole blueprint, a whole path, and a whole journey for you to find out find out what you need to find out. You know, from here to here, there's little things you have to do and learn and find out and discover until you can get to the end of your, your, your rope. Okay? And, yeah, keep looking forward, not backwards, my friend. Okay, what good news is coming? What good news is coming for you? What good news is coming? What good news is coming for you? We have the Nine of Wands here. Okay, so the Nine of Wands is resilience. So you, you, <laughs> wow, this is saying you're gonna be going through it. You're gonna be going through, you're gonna be tested, you're gonna be challenged, you're gonna be tempted, you're gonna be kicked while you're down, but you will stand right back up and you'll get right back in the ringer and keep on applying yourself, keep on leveling up. So this is not gonna be an easy ride. That's what this is saying. There's gonna be some losses, but if you stay focused, look, you'll be resilient. You'll be on guard too. You'll be uh, alert. You'll be ready to tackle anything that comes your way. Resilience, strength. What, did, what didn't kill you made you stronger. Courage. The fight. The, the fire that you need to, to that, you, that you will need to keep on pushing forward. So that, that's what I'm saying. Like along your path, along your journey, you're gonna meet some people. You're gonna lose some people. Not lose, not lose people in a in a tragic way. I just mean like, you might make friends, but then you might not be able to, you know, take those friends with you on your journey. You might have to leave them behind. You might have to leave some things behind. Some old ha habits, some lifestyles. But look, it's preparing you for what's to come, and you're gonna you're gonna be so like ready to take on the next phase, the next challenge. You're like on guard. Yes, come come this way. I you see. See what's waiting for you right here. I'm waiting. Go ahead. And you might be wounded. You might have gone through a lot of stuff, but you're going to come out victorious. That's the kind of energy we're tapping into. Let's see what your guidance is, courtesy of my fortune cookie oracle. This is like talking with an ancestor. Wise, wise golden nuggets in this deck. These beautiful 3D graphics. Look, changes near. A transformation is necessary and it's inevitable. It's going to happen. And now it's saying to choose wisely. So you, you're going through some kind of change, shift. Uh, you're looking into a new, new lifestyle. You got the full card here. Full card here. Um, you're working towards your goals. You got the Eight of Pentacles. Keep on working. Stay focused. Don't, di don't be distracted. Um, and then choose your path wisely. Which direction would you like to take since you've been through a lot here? The full. You can make your own decisions. You can choose your own path now. And we have it changing you, evolving you, ascending you. Some kind of awakening here. It depends on the path that you take. Follow your intuition, my friend. That's what I have for you. Let me know if this resonates at all. If it doesn't, please do consider booking a reading with me. My fortune cookie oracle is for sale on Etsy. I'm having a big sale. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for choosing me. collective energy and yeah please subscribe if you're new we post regularly or i do sorry all right what do you need to know at this time collective energy for whenever you're reading this okay 
What can you look forward to? Collective energy. What can you look forward to? Whoever needs to hear this, what can you look forward to? What good news is coming for you? What good news is coming for you? Collective energy, timeless reading. What good news is coming for you? All right, and then we have... Word of the wise, wisdom nuggets from the fortune cookie oracle that I created with my husband. It's for sale if you're interested. 73 cards and it has beautiful advice and beautiful photos and beautiful 3D graphics. All right, pile number or whatever pile you're, this is for you. Please uh, give us some guidance for whoever's clicking on this video. Please give us some guidance. Thank you. All right, let's figure this out. Okay, friends, let's go. All right, so in the first position, we have what you need to know at this time. Truth or dare? What in the world? Okay. <clears throat> so what I'm gathering this is saying is that you need to either be honest. Be honest with your people. Be honest with yourself. Sp speak your truth. Speak, your, speak what's on your heart. Speak what's on your mind. Truth. Or the dare side can be, you know, either be honest or take action, dare. The dare is the action. The dare is um, challenging yourself. So either be honest and say, no, I can't do it, or challenge yourself to do something, to do it. You know what I'm saying? So you have options. <coughs> What this is saying is that you have options. You have options. You can be truthful or you can challenge yourself to do something. You, so however you want to look at this, you have choices. I'm just getting the Two of Swords energy. I'm getting the Hanged Man energy. And it's raining right now. Oh my gosh, it looks so beautiful. It sounds so peaceful right now. So choose wisely, my friends. Which, which, which path will you, will you take? Which path will you go? Where is your intuition leading you? What, do you need to be honest? Or do you need to take a, a step back or step forward? Whatever you wish, you are the master of your ship. Okay, what you can look forward to, we have the, cha the changeling. Okay, so metamorphosing, what you can look forward to is a, a change of some sort, a transformation, metamorphosis. You are moving into another part of your life. You're figuring out more of yourself by maybe you being more truthful with yourself, um, you're going through some kind of shift or awakening here in this, this, act, this action card right here, the changeling. It's like you're shape-shifting. You're going through a stage, like kind of like the, the caterpillar going through stages of his life or her life. Um, so I would say prepare for this change, but be truthful with yourself. Or challenge yourself or choose choose a lane choose an obstacle choose choose a lane choose a um, path choose a pentacle choose a heart choose a, a decision make a decision um, because it's gonna affect your change here so it's like you can go any way if you want to take the truth road you can go down this path you if you want to start taking action you already know your truth so now take action you can go down another lane but either way, there's a change here, and it's inevitable. It's going to happen. Just think of your, your tower moment and the death card combined. Progress and, yeah, the energy shifting. Now, here is your, your, um, your good news coming. You have stepping stones. Look, more milestones, accomplishments, baby steps. I, just said, I, did, I was just saying that you could take a, take a step forward. You could take a step back. You have the option. Make a choice. Stepping stones, you know, you taking baby steps, but you accomplishing as you go along. So this is beautiful. Good news coming. More accomplishments, more milestones, more progress, more results. You know, like you, you, you're turning the wheel. You're turning the wheel. You're getting things going. And you're seeing the proof in the pudding. You're seeing your results. And it's, it's beautiful. It's, it's, you, look, you're daring yourself, you're challenging yourself, you're taking it one day at a time, one breath at a time, one step at a time. Now, what is your guidance per, per spirit? See? 
a transformation is near. See, I love that we're in sync. It's like sometimes these messages don't even make sense to me. I'm like, what? Okay, I'll just go with it because obviously it's telling me what I what I already see is here. Even though it might not make sense to me, I have to keep going with it. And then we end up with the freaking card that we start with. We have changeling transformation, right? Metamorphosis. It's change is inevitable. It's coming. It's coming. And then we have a transformation. See? It's like saying this whatever you do here is gonna lead you to where you need to be, where your, your path is leading you, where your what what is at the end of the rainbow waiting for you, the pot of gold, the whatever. But you have to make some kind of adjustment, a change, a decision here. And whatever you decide to do, it's gonna it's gonna lead you to your end goal. Okay, friend? This is beautiful energy. So let me know if this makes sense. This is my fortune cookie oracle for sale. It's it's uh, a big sale that I'm having. My husband and I created this one. It's on Etsy. Thank you for watching and personal readings are there as well. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.